Okay, so I hope that some of these videos are answering your questions and this one, see how I'm moving? Everything is moving. I'm here and with a very gentle sensation, there's no force, my whole body is moving as a whole. And in this video, I'm going to guide you to the work of Stephen Levin, a retired orthopedic surgeon, and what he calls biotensegrity. So, um, tensegrity is a term that comes from architecture. Buckminster Fuller is an architect, and he looked to nature and how structures in nature are held in this geometry. And he was one of the first that designed a geodesic dome made of triangles. Okay, so this dome, that was super strong. So I'm giving you a clue there that our body is super stable, super strong in its structure, right? So tensegrity is a term from Buckminster Fuller. And what he was describing is that the structures in nature, this wholeness, comes from internal forces. So these inner biological forces that are pushing outward and there's a force pushing inward. Now I could give you a tensegrity structure, but I want to give you something simple that you can relate to. So if you take a balloon and you blow into the balloon, right, you can see that there's a, the air is the force that's pushing in and expanding this balloon. And then it holds its shape unless you force it too much and then it bursts, right? But if you blow into a balloon, the skin of the balloon is um, tensing, it's pushing inward, and the air that you blow in is pushing outward. It's called compression. Another example I can give you is a grapefruit. Okay, so this is a grapefruit. Is a force pushing out and force pushing in, right? It's, and it has volume. So it is, it's round, it's cylindrical round. Our body is exactly the same. Can you believe that? We don't have to stack. We're not two dimensional. We are three dimensional. And I'm also going to include one more, four dimensional. But before we get there, our body is designed more like this. And you might have seen another video of mine. Now, in dissection, you know, you would peel away the skin. I'm just going to cut this which way shall I? Oh, I'll cut it this way. Right, so, so if you look at the inside of a grapefruit, if you imagine this is our spine, right? This kind of membrane and everything is kind of expanding outwards. It's kind of similar to this. And from the smallest little um, cell of a grapefruit, so if I were to cut through this, there's also a membrane. So if I'm cutting through the membrane, so imagine that this is your skin, and then you've got the kind of white pits. And when we first started looking at fascia, we, took, we talked about this white part covering the muscle. If this segment is a muscle, that's what we imagined fascia to be. But no, it's not just this white part. Fascia is also, um, I'm going to try and see if I can, oh, let me just pull it apart like this. Oh, it's quite juicy. <laughs> a single cell like that. Don't know if you can see that. But just to give you an idea, a little jewel of the grapefruit is, is kind of like a, there's fascia around that little jewel and the juice is pushing outward and the, 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 the shape is being held. So from the tiniest little jewel to the whole is tensegrity, forces pushing out and in. So we have far stronger forces inside our body than gravity. You don't have to pull yourself upright and pull your body into 
shape. We are already held and the reason that our body is shape changing and the reason that we feel stuck and our shoulders are rounding is because of stress and strain in our body. And we want to hydrate, hydrate and get the body to reorganize, right? So coming back to biotensegrity and what I love about the way Stephen Levin, who is the orthopedic surgeon, describes it as living organisms, all living organisms from viruses to vertebrates have the same geometrical organization in their body from the smallest cell to the organism as a whole is this universal intelligence of form, right? So he helps us to understand how as movement professionals or even body workers, we can um, come to the body as a whole. So the first part of his approach is everything is um, shaped by these forces, that the force transmission, so for example, take my grapefruit to the side, if I'm here and if I'm just moving at my foot, the transmission of information is going to the whole, right? If I stroke my skin, the sensation is being felt in the whole body. So fascia transmits information at lightning speed. I mean, probably far faster than lightning. So even before your nervous system responds, your fascia is processing information. So in terms of movement, I could move at my foot and there's a whole body response. And it's that information transmission, this what he calls force transmission that makes movement efficient. It's moving this, this whole body. Everything is moving. Something else that makes movement efficient is can you see that my body is moving like this, kind of oscillating like that? It's because everything in nature, from viruses to vertebrates, the kind of geometry that it, we are shaped by is spiral. It's called chirality. So we're bound in a spiral. And because we're bound in this kind of spiral anatomy and we, we're moving this way, our body can move efficiently and it can store energy like a spring. So the strength is coming from the spring-like structure of our body. We're able to store energy. Right, so um, these are just some of the guidelines there's more. So coming back to the nature of our form, when fascia shapes our body into this form, we are held by internal forces that keep us super stable. We don't need to pull in our core. That when we are in integrity, which is the absence of strain, the absence of restriction, everything feels easeful. And when fascia is dehydrated and we have restriction in the body, it can become stuck. And what, what makes us change our posture um, and is, is not, the not the structure alone, but how we feel. So if we're feeling stressed or in anticipation, what happens? Shoulders come up to our ears. We hold internally on the inside because we have this inner innerness of the body, we're not just, you know, stacked upright. We have this volume somewhere inside might be holding. And by hydrating and shifting, we can get to this area that can soften and release. And that information can continue to the whole web. We can reorganize the body from the inside out. So the body can reorganize. We're integrating fascia as a soft tissue 
how it gives our body shape and form and how this form is held by forces, inner forces, how we are already super stable, that what makes us unstable is stress. So if you're super tight, you can fall over. Like for example, I have a client who has Parkinson's and in Parkinson's the body stiffens. Um, and when the body is stiff, it's very easy to fall. This is why when you're aging, balance doesn't come from pulling in your core or adding more strain to your body. It comes from hydration and it comes from easing the strain that your body is holding internally so that your body can reorganize and it, it is holding you in integrity, right? When you're not in integrity and you're feeling stiff and stuck and strained, you're, it's difficult to balance, for example, or it's difficult to move with ease. So release the restriction, hydrate your body, reorganize. So this tensegrity structure, this biotensegrity that's already held can move with efficiency. So because of the way the body is designed, so remember there are forces and it's designed in a spiral. You just touch one part and the body moves in a spiral. So coming back to in the previous lesson, I guided you to how uh, just that motion and your body will move in a spiral from the inside out. Look at how my head's moving. Okay, I can roll over to the side find easy way it just depends finding ease 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 of movement might unwind a little bit this is all spiral motion spiral motion i don't have to add strain i can shape change so my body's my body's shape changing here um so Oh yeah, that's really important. This, this form that we have, it's not solid. I mean, the grapefruit is, but you can, it's a soft matter. You can shape change, get to areas. That's the other thing about this structure. It can move, it can shape change, right? So you can, and also if I'm here and I'm rocking, that is because my body is um, shaped in a spiral. There's this kind of oscillation. So it's bringing everything together. Fascia, this hidden sense, forms our body into this shape. When our body gives us movement, it's informed by the nature of our design. And Stephen Levin is one of the um, anatomists or uh, clinicians that help us understand the nature of our design, tensegrity, our forces are holding us. We can stand with inner ease and it doesn't matter what orientation our body moves into. We're not having to look at correct posture or alignment. We can shape change and move and find tuning into our hidden sense, find ease, ease those restrictions, let the body find its way. Oh, and we can get to those fascial areas that feel a little bit stuck. Most important takeaway from this is the body has intelligence. It moves with efficiency. It doesn't require effort. You could, the, the slightest sensation can send information throughout. And not only to the structure, when you're moving in this way, the entire biology is shifting, your biochemistry, everything. How is this landing for you? And if you want to experience it, you'll find free videos on this channel. But you could also go to move with ease, reconnect to your body. You don't have to exercise and put strain. You do need to live in this body that's in motion. You can join in tune where I guide you to connect to recognizing the difference between your learned patterns and your original blueprint. Recognizing that you have two versions of yourself, how to meet your whole self, and how to tune into fascia as a hidden sense. It really is the 
answer to vitality, to strength, to suppleness, um, how to learn the language of fascia, and how to find a better way to live for longer. I hope that's resonating with you. If you want the links to start something, to start your journey, you'll find them below.